Hello. Hi, beautiful people. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far because I am, all right? I want to say welcome to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, this is Stella Zone. And I have a little um, recipe that today I want to go over with a little bit of twist to it, okay? It's it's from Ghana, okay? It's not like my own recipe, but um, I'm adding some things to it. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be making kelewele, okay? Kelewele bisi jaso, oroi bi so bi to bi, oi bako, eshinano, ori korokta, doktor se, onim edrobia, usu se, mama. Do you guys remember that song? Man, I miss Ghana. Okay, so let's get to uh, business, okay? So I have three ripe plantain here, okay? Um, your plantains don't have to be like overripe, okay? Mine is not overripe. Um, I've had it for a few days and I'm like, you know, it's time to make some killer wele. And I'm, I'm thinking of making what, um, what do you call it? Kakro too. I'll make kakro as I, um, I, as I get time, okay? So I have my plantains, okay? This is optional. I have a little bit of onion. It's optional, okay? You can skip that. I have about um, um, four and a half ounces of um, ginger here. I have this. I've been trying to find the English name. Please, guys, help me out. This is called Widiaba. It's called Widiaba. It's a form of spice um, from Ghana too, and I know the Nigerians have it as well. But in Ghana, it's called Widiaba. Okay, I just have a, um, a little, um, about four um, pieces of Widiaba here. I have powdered pepper Normally, you know, we use the dried um, red pepper, you know, the dried, um, we'll call it in Ghana, mekwao, but um, which is basically how they make the powdered pepper. So I have powdered um, chili powder pepper here. I have salt to taste and I have some pepper, some other peppers in here, which also gives like spice and it gives like flavor. So I have the slim pepper, I have alligator pepper and I have cloves in here. So what I'm going to do is I'll be blending all these ingredients. Okay, stay tuned. What I'm doing is I'm just crushing the widiaba, okay? I'm just crushing it. You can just do it straight in the blender, but I'm just crushing it up a little bit. Normally, killer wole, this is how killer wole, when I was growing up, this was how killer wole was done. Of course, the mortar and the pistol is much bigger um, than the ones we use in Ghana. So what they would do is they would go ahead and put all the ingredients in here, and then they would pound everything, you know, they'll pound everything to a texture that they are looking for, and then they would just scoop it, put it in a bowl, chop up the plantains, and just mix everything. So I am going to go ahead and um, size my plantain up to make my killer wedding, okay? So what I do is I have my ripe plantain, I have a knife. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across like just make an incision what's wrong with my knife okay so make an incision just go down and then you guys know i've shown you how to um peel the plantain if you've seen my a top video and other um plantain video so i'm just taking the skin off because when the plantain is ripe it's very easy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide this into two okay Okay, and then I'll divide this half also into two again. You can do this on the cutting board. And then now I start to um, just cut it up. You can cut it up to whichever shape you want, okay? You can cut it smaller, bigger, medium size. So that's what I'm doing. Take this one up again. Like I said, if you want, you can. Let me show you if you want to use the cutting board. So just slice it up into two. Okay. And then that is easy when you use a cutting board. That's it. Like that. Just pick it up and then it goes in your bowl. So after, um, after working on your plantains, like slicing them up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my mixture that I have blended. I'm going to add just a little bit, not too much, not the whole thing. You can save the, um, whatever you have left over, you can save it in the um, fridge, okay? And then use it when you make it away again. So, just mix it. 
I like this spice because you know everything comes together the smell the flavor that you get from the slim pepper the alligator pepper the cloves so now I'm adding the powdered pepper okay so killer will is um can be it's can be eaten as an appetizer a dessert it can be eaten by itself we normally eat it eat it with peanut okay and it's spicy so depending on how spicy you want it's not like too spicy where you can't bear the spice okay so I'm just this is so mint so I'm adding as much pepper as I, I would like and then I'm adding salt in here okay and then mixing it in so I would say I used about um, one and a half um, teaspoon of pepper or let's say one yeah one and a half teaspoon of pepper of powdered pepper okay look with some look at that See, it's not too wet see not 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 super wet it's not too wet so I coated everything is well coated okay make sure the spice is really well coated on your plantains okay so I have my oil here which I heated up um, right now I have it on 350 but I started at 400 400 degrees with the you guys know I like to use this even though I never pull my um, deep fryer out I always for some reason end up using this skillet so whoever got me this skillet um, as a gift I want to say thank you <laughs> thank you so the oil is um, really heated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my plantain <clears throat> So I'm going to cook this, so I'm going to deep fry this until everything is um, golden brown, okay? Until it's nice and golden brown on the outside and serve it with some peanuts. Oh man, or you can even have it with um, rice. You can have it like when you cook rice or like plain rice and stew or jollof rice. You can, or even black eyed peas. You know how you have the black eyed peas with the plantain? Why not? You can introduce Kelewele to it, okay? So stay tuned. So this is ready, okay? This is like, ah, this looks good. This looks good. This is done, guys. I am going to go ahead and take this out. Look at that. This looks so good. Look, look at it. It's nice. It's Stelzone. <laughs> Let's transfer it. I have a paper towel. You know, just so it will catch the excess oil, you know. You guys know I always like to line my, um, what do we call it, um, um, strainer, yeah. Sonia, Sonia, I like to line the strainer with paper towel, okay. So the paper towel will soak every excess oil. This looks so good, I can, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. So when you are, when you are, um, frying the kelawale, Okay, so make sure you are um, you are working with the heat. Okay, because um, I started with four, I heated the oil at four hundred degrees. Then I brought it to three, three hundred and um, three fifty. Yeah, I brought it to three fifty. Then I took it back again to four hundred to finish it off. Yep, nice and golden brown, just the way I want it. You don't have to if you don't want it like too like if you don't want it too brown or too golden brown i guess you can reduce um the, the number uh, like the heat you can reduce the heat okay and i cooked it for 20 minutes you know i would say it, um 20 yeah 22 minutes 22 minutes this is ready our kelly willie is ready guys right, look at this looks so good and i told you most of the times most of killer willie is enjoyed with peanuts mm-hmm yep or you can just have the killer oil by itself okay this would be a great appetizer or even a dessert okay snacks for the for the whole family all right so if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so give this recipe a thumbs up yep like share subscribe 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 again okay subscribe 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 subscribe, subscribe again until we meet again Right here on Stella's on. 
I'm going to enjoy my killer wale. Have a blessed evening, alright? Bye guys.